What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with this is what happens if you trash talk Michael Jordan, aka as I used to call him, Black Jesus. <laughs> Before we dive into this, guys, make sure you dive into that subscribe button, read the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you have to do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Human, I talk back. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. What we got, MJ? Trash talking. I love it. It's the Same. game within the game. It makes Facts. headlines, and in the NBA, it could change a regular Wednesday night basketball game into some of the finest entertainment that money can buy. Players understand it, some of them love it as well, but there's an old <laughs> quote that goes <laughs> You see how fast LeBron turned around? I said, like, he didn't mean, he didn't mean to. He, he wasn't trying to hit you, bro. He's like, oh, okay, okay, that's what I thought. Money can buy. Players understand it, some of them love it as well, but there's an old quote that goes something like, Choose your battles wisely. Facts. Today we'll take a look at some players who didn't heed this phrase, and what I mean by that is that these players decided to trash talk Michael Jordan. Yeah, you heard me right. Some players in NBA history actually decided to trash talk the GOAT of basketball. <laughs> and today we'll go over the aftermath of just exactly what happened to these fellas. I'm, I'm sure I probably heard every one of these stories in other videos, but... It's exciting to get to watch it anyway. Math of just exactly what happened to these fellas. Kevin Garnett is widely considered one of the premier trash talkers in the game. But yeah. back when he was still just a teenage rookie, KG wasn't aware that there were certain guys that should be off limits when it comes to trash talking. And one of them Gosh, was Michael that Jordan. Was tough. On the night of February 27, 1996, KG and his teammate Isaiah Ryder were playing really well against MJ and the Bulls. However, things quickly turned really bad for them when KG opened his mouth and started to talk smack to the GOAT. Here's KG narrating what happened during that game in an interview. We have a saying in the league that you let some sleeping dogs lie, and I'm a product of that. I'm young, I'm 19 years old, I'm in the league, I'm fresh, I graduated out of high school in Chicago. We come back, we play the Bulls, and I was playing great. Probably the best I'd ever played in my life at this point, right? And it's against the Bulls, and J.R. Ryder is having an unbelievable game too. And I'm just feeling 19, I'm like, yeah, keep going, you're killing him. And in the short form of it, I woke up a sleeping dog, and it wasn't pleasant. That big dog is named Michael Jordan. He bites, and he bit hard. I kind of got a warning shot, but I didn't really take that warning shot, and it just turned bad. Michael started doing whatever he wanted to do on the court. He was blowing by defenders. Hey, a little slow. He was taking out his bag of tricks. Uh. He was doing circus shots. Oh my lord! KG and Ryder had 20 apiece that night, but MJ had the last laugh by dropping 35 big points to defeat the T-Wolves, 120 to 99. As for KG, he later revealed that ever since that game, MJ continuously made him remember his sorry mistake by rubbing <laughs> it in his face whenever they saw each other on the court. Whenever I see Jordan, he does the same thing every time. He palms my head and he says, remember the game I gave you 40 and three quarters? And then he has this sidekick around him and he's like, pull that video up. And that guy goes and pulls it up. Aside from the 19 year old KG, there was also another youngster who decided to poke <laughs> a sleeping bear. He said, then he got this sidekick around him that always go, pull that video up. And then they pause the video. <laughs> That's funny. Just imagine someone popping your head. Remember when I gave you 40 and three quarters? <laughs> Aside from the 19-year-old KG, there was also uh, another youngster who decided to poke the sleeping bear. And this time, it was a 17-year-old OJ Mayo. Before he got into the league, OJ was a highly touted high school superstar, and some basketball experts even considered him to be the next top high school prospect since LeBron James. Meanwhile, at the same time, MJ ran a couple of basketball camps after his retirement called the Flight School, where he would invite top collegiate prospects in the country to participate. Though the basketball camp was originally exclusive for college players, Mayo was the only high school player to be a part of the elite camp mm. thanks to his impressive resume. And as impressive as his actual game was, Mayo's trash talk game was up there too, and for some reason, 
The brash 17-year-old kid at the time raised a challenge and started to run his mouth at Michael. Jordan recalled his interaction with the young basketball phenom, and here's what he had to say. I'm playing in my camp against OJ Mayo. He was a top high school kid coming out, and I had never met him, first time. In front of my camp, he starts this thing about, you can't guard me, you can't do this. I got my campers here, so obviously I can't really go where I want to go because I own my camp. So I stop the camp, send the kids to bed. We go back to playing, and he starts his whole thing, you can't guard me. Finally, I just said, you may be the best high school player, but I'm the best player in the world. <laughs> so from this point on, it's a lesson. And from that point on, it was a lesson. He never won a game. I posted him up. I did everything. Just like the basketball camp that he was running. <laughs> That's tough, bro. Mike said, bro, chill. Chill. It's like a little chihuahua trying to bite at your heels. Like, you might be the best in high school, bro. I'm the best in the entire world. So from this point on, this is a lesson. And just to get taught so thoroughly, I'm sure OJ, OJ definitely learned something valuable that day. I posted them up. Oh, I did everything. Just like the basketball camp that he was running, MJ took OJ to school and taught him a thing or two about respect. You can't do this. You know, I got my campus here, so I obviously I can't really go where I want to go. So I'm absolutely that's sure tough. OJ learned his lesson that day. Yeah. That was, anyway, that's just tough, since both though. KG and OJ were just kids, we can probably give them a pass because they still didn't know any better at the time. However, our next trash talk gone wrong story didn't come from a youngster, but instead it came from one of the greatest players of all time. Magic Johnson. You see, during one scrimmage session of the 1992 I Dream this, Team, uh, the court story. was split between Team Jordan and Team Magic. Jordan's team struggled at the beginning, and Magic's team seized the moment by taking a 12-2 advantage. Confident with their lead, Magic decides to mess with MJ and said, If you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. And after those words left his mouth, Magic saw MJ's demeanor change quickly, and he knew then and there that it was over for them. His eyes got big, he broke the hurdle, he hit a three, and he's looking at me with his tongue out. Meanwhile, Scottie Pippen also saw MJ's reaction and said, When you see that look then you know. Just give him the damn ball and get out of the way. We all know that MJ That's is tough. ultra competitive and hates losing in any given situation, even if it's just a scrimmage match. And as you would expect, so Jordan tough, just utterly man. destroyed Magic's team. That, that move is just so tough, Even if it's tough, just a scrimmage bro. match. And as you would My expect, Lord. Jordan just utterly destroyed Magic's team in this particular instance, as if he were playing in the NBA Finals. When it was all said and done, Jordan's team came out on top, and right after the match, it was his time to trash talk to Magic by saying, How you like the kick when we gave you up? No, no, no. Well, aside from Magic, there's also another legend who fell prey to the goat the moment he started barking up the wrong tree. And this <laughs> I love, I legend, literally always love this story. This is one of my favorite stories. Legend right who here. fell prey to the goat the moment he started barking up the wrong tree. And this time around, it was Reggie Miller. You see, Miller got drafted in 1987, three years after MJ got drafted. And during that three-year window, MJ quickly rose and transformed into an instant superstar by averaging 37.1 points a year before Reggie entered the league. Now, when Reggie finally met crazy. Michael for the very first time, his teammate Chuck Pearson urged him to talk some trash to Michael to throw him off his game. He talked about the incident in an interview, and here's exactly what happened. My rookie year, we were playing the Chicago Bulls, and this is Michael Jordan's third or fourth year in, and we were playing an exhibition game. Most veterans do not like to play in exhibition games. They want to get to the real thing. I'm a wide-eyed, energetic rookie, and Michael's going through the motions. And Chuck Pearson, who's on my team, who is a trash talker as well, is like, can you believe Michael Jordan, the guy everyone's talking about? Who's supposed to be able to walk on water? You're out here killing him, Reg. You should be talking to him. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Michael, who do you think you are? The great Michael Jordan. That's right, there's a new kid in town. He kind of looks at me and starts shaking his head. Well, I really can't blame Reggie. I mean, he was a rookie, and at halftime, he had 10 uh, points while Michael only had four. But after the half, Reggie quickly learned his lesson as Jordan dominated him in all possible ways. In his own words. The end of the game in the second half, he ended up with 44. <laughs> and I ended up with 12. 
And finally, MJ left some parting words to Reggie right after the game by saying, Don't ever talk trash to Black Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of Reggie, another teammate of his apparently also made the same mistake. Sam Mitchell was a longtime teammate of Reggie in Indiana before he became a coach, and during a podcast interview, he shared a story where he used to call Jordan a ball head, which set off MJ badly. We were playing you guys at the Chicago Stadium, and we were up late in the fourth quarter with like four minutes to go. I think Reggie was in at the free throw line to put us up by like 13. The only time I could trash talk to Mike, I used to call him ball head. I used to tell him all the time, no matter how great you are, you got no damn hair. So I looked at him and I told him, hey, ball head, we got that. We came in to get that tonight. He looked at me and he said, man, I ain't even started playing yet. He scored 19 straight points and beat us by five. I learned that moment to leave the ball head alone after that. Anyway, guys, y'all know another person you should never talk trash to? LeBron James. He's one of the all-time no greats in basketball and uh, just like people who trash talked Jordan and regretted it, the list of people who were sorry for trash talking LeBron goes on and on. If y'all want to see what happened to these guys, then click this video right here. And trust me when I say, these guys instantly regretted their decision. Anyway, click the video, guys, and like always, I'll see you on the other side. Oh, I love watching these videos. I absolutely love them. That's all we got for this. So if you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible. Team on YouTube, it's your boy Dinia, out.